with Joe. All right, you guys. So like, share, subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys get all the updates whenever we release video content on the channel. Shouts out to the Lions Den community. Salute to my brother, A Weapons. He rep midlife music. Make sure y'all following us on social media on our Instagram. Also, make sure that you guys check out our Facebook channel, uh, facebook.com backslash ticket TV. All these links are going to be in the description box below. You guys can also catch our podcast show. Make sure y'all subscribe to our podcast show. We'll have all the hidden content that you guys didn't see from our podcast show. Uh, so all of the links will be pinned below. Salute to everybody who donates to the stream. And we're going to get ready to get started with this stream today now. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Much love, honor, respect, and appreciation. Guys. All right, you guys. So let's get into this, man. So uh, just now in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Umar Johnson, Dr. Umar Johnson was doing some type of uh, <clears throat> speaking engagement in the A. Uh, the video is going viral right now. And during that speaking engagement, um, Umar uh, basically was approached by these two women. Uh, one that you see on the floor right there on the right hand side in the white. And then you see another one uh, on your left-hand side that was behind her. Now, as he was in the middle of his speech, I don't know what he was talking about exactly because uh, the video was clipped short. Uh, these women approached him, and you could hear Umar telling the one woman, I don't know who you are. I never met you before. I don't know who you are. He, he kept denying that he knew who this woman was. Now, some people were speculating that this woman aggressively approached uh, Umar, and she got tackled by dudes, and she got handled. She took off her shirt, uh, her uh, sweater, uh, and she's kind of bigger woman. But she got uh, a lot of people was upset online about how she got dealt with uh, because she hadn't thrown no punches or nothing yet. But Umar had people that was ready. Uh, as soon as she started to approach that stage, it's like five people ran up, five guys ran up, and they put hands on this woman. Now a lot of people were upset of how they dealt with the woman. She got basically. Uh, pushed over to the ground as she was trying to take her shirt, her sweater off. And then they jumped over top of her. People ran over there to her. You understand what I'm saying? And again, uh, a lot of people are speculating that, you know, the woman was basically upset about the school not being open, asking him about, I guess, some people were speculating that she was asking him about money that she had donated and stuff and why the school hadn't been open and stuff like that. Some people say it was based off something different. Uh, some people think that it was a whole different situation. But a lot of people right now are upset at how this woman was dealt with. Uh, if you guys see on the right-hand side of your screen, uh, she had a, a sweater or over top of that uh, shirt she got on right there, that white shirt. And she took off this sweater. And as she was taking off the sweater, they kind of just tackled her. All these men kind of tackled her to the ground and was on top of her and stuff like that. And you got a lot of people that's in the video comment sections on Twitter, online right now, that's upset at how they handled this woman because uh, they really did. It was like four or five guys that was right there on that woman uh, when they jumped on top of this woman. And so she had to, uh, they had to have been upset. Now, the woman in the blue shirt behind, on the left-hand side, I don't. I didn't see what happened to this woman on the left-hand side. So this woman on the left-hand side, I don't see, I didn't know what happened with her as far as when the video went, she kind of disappeared. So I don't know if they yanked her up too or what happened. But the woman in the blue, I didn't see her no more. Like, she she came and was raising her arms and saying something behind the woman in the white. So I didn't see it. But the woman in the white was kind of like going to the stage like she was going to uh, attack Umar. And so that's why all of the security came down. You understand what I'm saying? The security jumped down quick and was on, on this woman. Now, first they was just saying, like, blocking her way. To get to the stage and as she turned around like they was turning her around to go back the other way she started to take off her sweater and as she took off her sweater she was saying something nobody could make out like i couldn't make out what she was saying some people were saying like i said some people were saying that she was upset about money that she had donated and that she didn't see whatever the money that she had donated she didn't see where it went and that umar because you could hear umar saying umar was like i don't know this woman i don't know you woman i've never met you and so I don't know, people who were at the at that event uh, that was in the front row could probably explain more what she was saying because those are the people who pretty much heard what she was saying. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, but the, the, the truth is, though, man, is that, look, my thoughts on it was this, bro. When somebody's approaching a stage like that, the security is going to act quick. 
You know what I'm saying? They're not going to think about who you are, what you They don't know what you got. Unless you was, unless they was, uh, had a metal detector and they, and they basically was checking people before they came in there. When you approach a stage, people don't know what you got or what you coming to do. So the security, they going to get on you quick. The thing is that people was upset because the woman, you know, they, they saying that they, the guy pushed the woman over as she was taking off her sweater. She lost her balance. She pushed her over, fell down. And then another guy came up from behind, uh, grabbing her. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you know, grabbing her from behind. You know what I'm saying? Another guy came from the backside. You see that one guy in the black right there, but it was another guy that came from the backside and that was like on top of her too. You couldn't tell whether he was pushing her back down and it looked like they got on top of her and was trying to hold her down and then take her out. But I mean, a lot of people speculating that this woman was upset because she didn't, uh, she had, I guess, donated some money. Some people said she was asking about the school, why the school hadn't been open and stuff like that uh to umar johnson i i really don't know the exact contents of that conversation because i wasn't there i'm just telling you guys what people are rumoring that she was saying because you could hear her screaming something but you if you wasn't there you couldn't really make it out to hear exactly what she said but she definitely did get on the flow and it was definitely people that was waiting because it was people that was waiting up there on her now there's some people over here saying there was something different that went on between her some people were saying it could have been something personal between her and Umar because as soon as Umar seen her, he was like, I don't know you, woman. I don't know you. I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have thrown allegations against Umar and say Umar have had, you know, different relationships and stuff like that. So I have no idea, you know what I'm saying, what the contents of that situation was about. But I do know that as soon as she crossed that little line right there with near where them front people was at, five people appeared out of nowhere like ninjas on that stage and they just came out of nowhere and they they got her out of there i mean they got her out of his way quick and you know what i'm saying he basically like i said he was in denial saying he ain't know the woman he ain't know the woman so again the woman in the blue shirt on the left side she was kind of like turning up too as she went up there but i ain't nobody seen i never seen what happened to her in the video no more like the video like she kind of just disappeared and it was all you seen was the other woman that you see on the right hand side of your screen the big girl so the big girl, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they're going to be mad. A lot of people's upset about what happened to her. Again, I got to watch the video closely again. Matter of fact, let me watch this video closely again because a lot of people are saying that she was assaulted, she was pushed over and stuff like that. But again, people got to understand security going to act fast, man. Like when you at an event like that, security not finna wait to see what you got going on, man. Security is going to get on. Security is going to be on your helmet ASAP. If, if security see anything that ain't a part of the show, they are gonna be on top of you quick. So I think that that is the situation that we that we have to look at. Now the woman in the blue shirt, she was walking behind the woman, so it was two women that was approaching Umar, two of them. Okay, so the woman in the blue shirt, okay, I see what it was. So the woman, okay. So the woman in the blue shirt, she wasn't attacking. The woman in the blue shirt was calling the security to come stop the woman and the, the big woman. The big woman went up and threw her purse up at, uh, she threw her bag up at Umar. So the, the big girl went up, she went up in a rage, and the woman in the blue shirt kind of seen what she was doing. So the woman in the blue shirt was following her, and her hand is up because she's signaling the security to get this girl, she get ready to do something. So the big girl that was in front took, and she threw her bag, once the security started running to her, she threw her bag up in the air. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it was kind of in the direction of Umar, but not at Umar, that didn't hit Umar. But she she threw that bag up in the air. And as she threw that bag up in the air, y'all, you know what I'm saying? She looked like she was getting ready to, to bring drama. She was going to grab him, but the security grabbed her first. So she was she was right about to grab him by his legs. And that's the, that's the big lady that's there on the floor. She was about to grab Umar by his legs on the stage. You understand what I'm saying? But the security grabbed her at the last second before she could grab Umar. And the funny part was, Umar didn't even move back. Umar stood right there. Umar stood right there. Umar didn't move back. Umar stood right there. And Umar was just like, look, man, I don't know you, woman. He was like, woman, I don't know you. She, she apparently was making it seem like she knew Umar. And so then as soon as she was about to grab Umar's legs, that's when the security, you know what I'm saying, came in quick. It was like four or five dudes out of nowhere came in. Them dudes came in like Ninja Turtles. I was like, dog, they came in like ninjas. 
That's how Charleston White security was supposed to be that day he was on stage. See that 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 security Umar got. Them dudes was on. Them dudes came in quick because Big Shirley was getting ready to go for a fifteen yard sack on the play, point blank period. Because she was getting ready to get. She was getting ready to get Umar. Umar was going down when she grabbed his legs, bro. She was about to grab his legs. Umar was going down and out for the count if she would have grabbed his legs. So again, I'm looking online. A lot of people saying some people that was there was saying that she was arguing uh, about Umar and the money uh, or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Money and things like that. But again, as I looked at the tape, people also were arguing because the security did yank her up. Now she was still as a, one security guy trying to hold her back. She bigger than the security. So this woman was bigger than the first security dude that walked up in the suit. She was way bigger than him. So now you had other dudes, you know what I'm saying? And this is real security. You know what I'm saying? He had them, he had, he had them brothers in there securing the premises in there. They won't finna play with you. And so, you know, them brothers ain't gonna play with you. She took off her sweater and they grabbed her from behind. As a dude is grabbing her, she took her sweater. She tried to get the dude off of her. The, the security guard, he looked like a fake ass Teddy Long. And then he grabbed her arm and pulled her to the floor and then tied her up on the floor. So, yeah, they did drag her to the floor. And she was a big woman. They took her down hard on the floor. And then more people came in and jumped on top of this top of this woman. But she wasn't playing. And again, I listen, he grabbed her from behind by the waist with both hands uh, as she was walking like she was walking towards the back after security had cut her off. She was saying something. But the security, the one dude that looked like the dusty Teddy Long, he got behind her and grabbed her behind her big waist with both hands. And it's like he was all the way behind her. So it's like he's grabbing her or hugging her from behind and squeezing her tight. And she was like, she turned around and like, yo, get your hands off me. Like she told him to get on. She was trying to get him off of her. As she turned around, this is right as she was taking off her sweater. Dude tried to, he, he tried to yank her arm. And as he yanked her arm, he he fell down and pulled her down with him, and then he jumped on top of her and tried to tie her up, tie her arms up. So I mean, you got a lot of people upset about that with that woman about how she went down. But again, man, uh, you know, a lot of people saying a lot of different things about what happened with Umar just now. Only the people who was there that really could hear what she was saying. Only thing you could make out is Umar kept saying, "I don't know you, woman. I don't know this woman." He was telling everybody in the crowd that he don't know this woman. You know what I'm saying? So this is what he was telling her in the crowd. Bro, I'm not uh, to everybody who's saying like, oh, big waist. Yo, I'm going to show y'all like so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So it's not like I'm just making this stuff up. Like what I'm saying, like when he grabbed her, he grabbed her by her waist. And that made her that infuriated her when he grabbed her by her waist. That infuriated her because remember, she was taking off her shirt like she really was upset or or something like that. Again, Umar had moved at this time. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put this on the screen for you guys, right? I'm going to put it on the screen for you guys. And then, as I told y'all, the dusty Teddy Long looking dude, he pulled her down with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he fell down and lost his balance, but pulled, yanked her down with him as he fell down. Uh, and I'm a, I'm surprised that she didn't fall, uh, that she didn't fall on, uh, on top of him. Because all her momentum was going on top of him. She would have squashed the dude. If 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 Teddy Long didn't get out the way, she would have got he would have got he would have got squashed because she fell straight down. I don't know how in the world he got out the way. I don't know how in the world he got out the way. But Teddy Long got lucky right there, man, because that woman weighed at least 355 pounds to 400 pounds. She at least was at around 400 pounds. You know what I'm saying? So he really got lucky that she, she didn't fall on top of him. Because he would have been, he would have been hurt for real. Had she would, had she would have fell on top of dude, man, he would have been about it. Now, I'm about to show you all these pictures right now. I know y'all probably gonna wait when I show you all these pictures, but it's just to give you guys a better sight of what happened for you guys who don't know what happened. So I'm gonna show you all this picture right here. It's two pictures I told you guys I'm gonna show you guys that I'm gonna do right now, and I'm and in these pictures it'll, it'll kind of explain more of of what of what really happened in this situation. So in this first picture, as you guys. Uh, about to see man this first picture i'm gonna show you guys uh is you guys see him grabbing her by the waist right so in that picture right there you guys see that he had her behind so like some people was upset i seen people in the comment section upset that he grabbed her like that because she's facing us so he grabbed her up under her 
you know what I'm saying, up under her, you know, her knockers uh, facing us, you know what I'm saying? And she was taking off her sweater, as you can see. She's taking off her sweater. So he grabbed her up under her, up under her knockers right behind her waist with both hands. You can see the one hand around her and the other hand around the other side, you know what I'm saying, uh, where, his, where his suit hand is at. And so as he grabbed her, he ran around to the right side of her. Somehow he maneuvered around. No, she turned around as he grabbed her with both hands and said, take your hands off me. Don't be grabbing me like that. You know what I'm saying? And as he did that, uh, that's how he came on the right side. As you guys see him on the ground right there in the left-hand corner, he ended up falling down. So he fell down, and when he fell down, he grabbed her arm and pulled her down too. He got lucky that she didn't fall on top of him because he was done. Teddy Long was done. Now, you see the person right there taking a picture and video on this whole thing. But he's lucky because she fell straight down to the floor right there. I'm talking about boom. So he got lucky that he moved out the way. He had skills enough to grab her down and move out the way at the last second. So him moving out the way saved him because she would have fell straight on top of him. He would have had no cushion if she would have fell right on top of him because he took her balance away when he yanked her arm and pulled her to the ground. So, I mean, he went from being behind her to she told him to get your hands off me to he's trying to yank her down to he got saved by moving out the way at the last second because, bro, she came down like a ton of bricks. And if you guys see on this picture right here, y'all see how she's on the floor. And she actually is squashing him. She's on top of him right there. So that's when the friend came in. Like, y'all see that dude under her? She's not on the ground. She's, like, on top of him like it's a WWE type of event. You know what I'm saying? It's like almost like a fight with Mark Henry and uh, somebody else. But that, you see how he's under her. So he, he did get squashed. I take that back because, see, he's under her. Y'all see him under her? He pulled her arm down. Look on your far right-hand side of y'all screen. And she fell on top of this dude. Now, the dude behind him, he like, man, I don't want no smoke with that. The dude in the black, he like, man, I ain't finna get that woman up off you, dog. So the man in the black, he chilling. But another dude came from the other side and jumped on top of the girl because she was on top of him. And, and and then he started to tie her arms up and stuff like like get her arms behind her back and stuff like that. So again, that was that this situation was unbelievable that that happened. And you know, like I said, you know, people are are making speculations. I don't know what happened as far as what was said. All you know is, is that Umar Johnson said, and he kept saying, "I'm gonna play what he said to you guys." He kept saying, "I don't know this woman." Umar kept saying that, and I'm gonna play this for y'all right now. This thing, brothers and sisters. And the white man knows you well because he's written books on you. How many books? They say the Negro entrepreneur. <laughs> Who's that crazy? I'm with you, Larry. He's with me, Larry. I've never seen you in my life. Look at my book. Oh, she said I was with you last night. Oh, so the girl told Umar, I was with you last night. He said, I wasn't with you last night. <laughs> She told Umar, he said, who are you? She said, I was with you last night. She said, I wasn't with you last night. Listen, listen to that again, y'all. She said, I was and with no, you. The big girl told him I was with you last night. She said, I wasn't with you last night. Listen to this again, y'all. Negro entrepreneur. <laughs> Who's that crazy? I'm with you, Larry. He's with me, Larry. I never seen you in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that part. I didn't hear that part. The girl, old girl said, <laughs> Umar said, <laughs> Woo! Oh, the girl said, the big girl said, I was with you last night. <laughs> oh! She threw the purse at the man. She threw the purse at him. She threw the... <laughs> <laughs> I got to play it again for y'all. I can't breathe, Shotty. I can't breathe. She said, <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Who's back here? I'm with you, Larry. He's with me, Larry. He wasn't with me, Larry. I've never seen you in my life. <laughs> that man said, said, You wasn't with me last night. <laughs> 
Hey, look, as soon as she started to come up to the stage, Uma crazy. Uma. <laughs> Umar, Umar said, who that creep? <laughs> Umar, Umar said, who that creep? She said, she said, she said, she said, she said, she said I was with you last night. Umar said, Umar said you, you were with me last night. That man got square finish. That man got square. <laughs> oh, oh man. Hey, bro. Hey, this man Umar crazy, man. Hey, y'all listen to this again, man. Oh, man. He was talking about entrepreneurs. <laughs> Umar talking about entrepreneurs. She walk up to the stage, throw the purse at him and say, what entrepreneurs? What entrepreneurs? He said, who is this gay? He said, she said, you know who I am. You was with me last night. He said, I don't know you. <laughs> oh, entrepreneur. <laughs> Who's that creep? I was with you last night. He wasn't with me last night. I never seen you in my life. Look at my book. Look at my book. He's pretty creep. Oh, she said, look at my book. Oh. So Umar said he wasn't with her, but she said, look at my bag. That's why she threw the bag. <laughs> she had receipts. She had receipts, y'all. <laughs> that's why she that's why she threw the bag at her. <laughs> that's why she threw the bag. <laughs> I was wondering. What? <laughs> I, I know. I know. I was wondering why she threw the bag at me. <laughs> I'm done, man. Oh, my God. Bro, I was wondering why she threw the bag at Umar. <laughs> she said, Umar said, I don't know you. I went with you last night. She said, look at my bag. <laughs> oh, man. Umar ain't gonna let this one down, man. Oh my god. <laughs> he ain't gonna let this one down, dog. He not gonna let this one down. Who's back with me? I was with you last night. He wasn't with me last night. I never seen you in my life. Look at my book. Look at my bag. Peace, pretty, pretty. 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 Hey, we ain't getting past this, bro. <laughs> I've never seen this day in my life. Brothers and sisters, clap it up for the ancestors. Clap it up for the ancestors. She said, clap it up for her, and she getting dragged out the show. <laughs> oh, Umar, man. Clap it up for the No weapon. Oh my God, man. Come on. <laughs> hey, yo. <coughs> oh my God, man. Bro, man. Umar, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Somebody gonna interview that girl, man. 
and find out why she went at him like that. Somebody go interview her, man. Bro, that is crazy, man. Somebody gonna interview that girl, bro. I'm telling y'all this right now. When they interview her, bro, they gonna ask her what she was talking about when she said that he was with her that, the night before. Because she said, look at my bag. When he said, I ain't never seen you before in life, he said, she, she said, because she remember she threw the bag at the dude when she went up there, she threw the bag at him. When she went up there, <laughs> she threw the bag at the man, straight up. When she went up there, so I'm looking like man, man, bro. She threw the bag at the man, bro. You know what I mean? That's crazy, bro. <laughs> hey, he just lucky that she didn't get them hands around his legs on that stage, bro. And she would have got her leg, hands around his legs, it'd have been done. Cause she almost grabbed his legs. His security like saved him at the last second. His security saved him at the last second. Bruh, man. Yo, ladies, man. I don't like to see that happen right there, man. I know Shorty is is is, you know, but she was she was real upset though. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to see that happen like that. I don't like to see no sister get dragged down like that, man. The only reason why I'm laughing is because of what Umar said. Umar was like, oh, <laughs> I ain't never seen this one. <laughs> Yo, Umar is hilarious, bro. Umar, man, you hilarious with this one, bro. You are hilarious, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Where do y'all think that Umar met this woman? Or, this, or do y'all think Umar know this woman? I'm going to put it like that. Do y'all know that Umar, do y'all think that Umar know this woman? On the right hand side of your screen uh <laughs> you know <clears throat> you know um again she was in a rage when she went up there uh now if you guys see the video you guys will probably see the video online um she is a heavy set woman but you know um she bigger than umar way bigger than umar she way bigger than that them, them security guards umar had too she was bro she was big bro she bigger than the security guards umar had she bigger than every security guard umar had she was like one of Floyd Mayweather security guards, but she, bro, she was big, bro. That's why dude fell down. The fake Teddy Long fell down trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to deal with it. She was too strong for him, bro. She was stronger than him. But you guys let me know what y'all think, man. Somebody said it was a book sign, and then he invited her to the hotel. <laughs> Yo, man, y'all know somebody going to get an interview with the girl, man. So, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, man. Do y'all think Umar knew this lady or not, man? Or do y'all think it was a setup? Let me know what y'all feel in the comment section. Peace. <laughs>